The divisive politics in the Kenyan Senate continued as the search for a working revenue sharing formula for the 47 order, order counties members. proved futile once again. We cannot be forced, Mr. Speaker, to take positions of the minority. Mr. Speaker, sir, we have adjourned this matter for nine times. I refuse to become one of the monsters of, of history of this country. I stand with the people of Kenya. While all the drama continues to unfold, county governments are running on empty. Most are basically broke and some crucial county workers like doctors are yet to receive their salaries over the last two months. Corruption is the order of the day. Mali's president, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, resigned on Tuesday and dissolved the country's parliament hours after army mutineers detained him at gunpoint and ousted him from power. The ouster of the president comes after wide protests over systemic corruption in the country. In Europe, Alexander Lukashenko was declared winner of the recent elections in Belarus, making him the longest-serving president with six terms under his belt. But many citizens in Belarus believe the election was rigged and have been embroiled in running battles with police, calling for Lukashenko to step down from the presidency. Some disturbing videos that have been making rounds in social media showing the brutal killings of two women in Cameroon due public outrage forcing 70 women to take to the streets in protest. The government is in a tug of war with the Anglophone separatist who had recently announced the formation of the Republic of Ambazonia. Since the declaration of this new state, 3,000 people have been killed and 700,000 people displaced. And finally, as the U.S. edges closer to the November election, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden announced his running mate. Now let me introduce to you, for the first time, your next vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris. The tough-talking Kamala Harris has been lauded as a fierce critic of Donald Trump since he first took office. If the Biden-Harris team is elected, she will make history by being the first black woman of Asian American descent to be elected as a vice president. Thank you for the trust you've placed in me.